Marcus Conti reporting, breaking news, breaking news from Venezuela, a, an attempted coup by Juan Guardo, armed attempted coup, a couple of hundred people, not a big deal, so let's jump right into it. So this is uh, the live scene right now in Caracas, down there in Venezuela, and it's in the richer part of Caracas, I understand. I'll read some articles, we'll take a look at it. We'll look at what our, 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 our politicians are saying, Mike Pompeo is tweeting uh marco little marco rubio is tweeting we'll take a look so we'll also look at uh let's look at first we'll look at juan guardo right? so well you know what betty let's take a look here so so here is um venezuela's guardo takes to the street military uprising oh yeah let's look at the images there he is a handful. One, two, three, four, ten. This is the this is another opposition leader. His name is Lopardo Lopez, and uh, apparently this guy was was uh, imprisoned for uh, doing a, a very similar uprising. These are the traitors, right? The, the majority of the country is not with this. Just for clarity, you'll see how the Americans are spinning it. Uh, in our media right? down there it's probably nothing I mean a, a couple of hundred people in the street the, the the irony is that they have guns and that's that's a uh, I guess concerning because when you have a gun someone's going to shoot at you and you're going to shoot back right? these are the um, these are Guarda uh, <coughs> Maduro's uh, troops this is not Juan Guarda <laughs> the guy with a suit in the rich neighborhood excuse me Oh my god! Oh my god! One glad though. One glad though. I love you, one glad though. Uh, so, Venezuelan opposition leader Juan Guardo took to the street. Is this thing too loud for you guys? Oh wow, something happened. We'll keep the live feed going. Hmm. It looks like a retreat. I'll keep that going. So, uh, here's Juan Guardo in his own words. In la lucha no violenta, en trabajar por el prójimo, en salvar vidas, en trabajar por los más vulnerables, en que atender a nuestras familias, en construir capacidades en el marco siempre de nuestra constitución. En ese proceso, dijimos. Cuando el pueblo esté en las calles, asumiríamos las competencias. Cuando la comunidad internacional respaldara. Calling his people to the street, the little supporters, and this is the uh, opposition guy behind him. Ampliamente, nuestra lucha estaríamos con el pueblo de Venezuela. En este momento, hacemos un gran llamado a los empleados públicos y a un componente fundamental, no solamente para la transición, sino para la reconstrucción de Venezuela, recuperar soberanía nacional, nuestras fuerzas armadas. Handful Hoy, of people. Valientes soldados, valientes patriotas, valientes hombres apegados a la Constitución han acudido a nuestro llamado. Hemos acudido también al llamado. Nos hemos encontrado definitivamente en las calles de Venezuela. La Operación Libertad, los comités de ayuda y libertad. Operation Freedom. Inmediatamente a activarse. The deeming it Operation Operation Freedom. Los invito inmediatamente a cubrir las calles de Venezuela. El primero de mayo empezó hoy. El cese definitivo de la usurpación empezó hoy. Contamos con el pueblo de Venezuela. Hoy las fuerzas armadas claramente están del lado del pueblo. Están del lado de la Constitución. Leales a la Constitución. Leales al pueblo de Venezuela. A su familia al futuro, al progreso. Han sido años de sacrificio, han sido años de persecución, han sido años incluso de miedo. Hoy se vence ese miedo. If you don't know the situation, this is the guy that's backed by the uh, the American CIA. He was a student at uh, Washington University in D.C. for a bit of time. He's the opposition leader. He was stripped of his uh, of his privilege, of his position as. Um, 
uh, I don't know, some kind of councilman or whatever. He was stripped of that. Less than, I don't know, maybe 80% of the country doesn't even know his name. So it looks like a peaceful, uh, a peaceful gathering, right? But how has the, um, <laughs> the cat visitor, how has the American press been spinning it? Let's find out. So uh, here's, here's a little Marco. After years of suffering, freedom is, after years of suffering, freedom is waiting for the people of Venezuela. Do not let them take this opportunity from you. Cheerleaders. Now is the moment to take to the streets in support of your legitimate constitutional government. Lie. It's not the legitimate constitutional government. Uh, Nicolas Maduro is the elected official. And supported by 95% of the country. It's fucking lies. Eh? Do not allow this moment to slip away. It may, no, it may not come again. What does Pompeo say about it? Pompeo. Today, Interim President Juan Guardo announced start of op Operation Liberty, op op Operation Freedom. The U.S. government fully supports the Venezuelan people in their quest for freedom and democracy. <laughs> no, you don't. You're supporting the opposition to overthrow the duly elected uh, uh, democracy there uh, so that you can put the uh, oil companies in there so they can get that oil. Uh, that's what the shit's all about. Come on. Democracy cannot be defeated. Well, who's... who's I, I, I was the CIA director. We lied, we cheated, we steal and stole. I, I was the CIA director. We lied, we cheated, we steal and stole. It's, it was like, we, we, had, we, had entire, we had entire training courses. Uh, Thanks, Mike. Thanks for telling the truth, man. You fucking rock, you jerk off. Uh, so, I don't know. It looks like it's breaking up. Let's look at some of the other stuff. So, um, so Juan Guardo took to the streets with activists. Uh, it's, it's, well, I'm just reporting on it, but it's bigger. You see how the Americans, Pompeo, you'll probably see a tweet by John Bolton. Juan Guardo is going out in front of the cameras, calling it the big, you know, the big move, right? The big move. But really, it's just a couple hundred people, and they got a couple of military defectors uh, to join them. Right? So... He he was on the street with a small contingent of heavily armed troops early Tuesday in a bold and risky call for military to rise up and oust socialist leader Nicolas Maduro. I want to tell the Venezuelan people this is the moment to take to the street. We already saw his video. Lopez said he has been freed from house arrest. This guy. Uh, so they're, they're on the move. As he spoke on a highway overpass, troops loyal to Maduro sporadically fired tear gas from inside the adjacent airbase as the crowd of a few hundred civilians, some of them brandishing Venezuelan flags, scurried for cover. It's a few hundred people. Let's not let the media blow it up into thousands, millions of people join. Millions of Venezuelan people join the street. Pompeo. Millions of people are joining in on Nicholas to, to overthrow the, the usurper. The crowd swelled to a few thousand as people sensed what could be the strongest opportunity yet. All right, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. I'm learning just like you. A few hundred started, a few thousand. All uh, right, 36 million people in the country. Right? A few thousand people is like a, like a football game. To overthrow the government after months of turmoil. It's now or never, said one of the young rebellious leaders. Uh, we are going to Mir Miraflor's palace to defend the revolution, to defend Nicholas, and to defend the legacy of Hugo Chavez. Uh, so that's the loyalists saying that. Right. So, what else? Later, a group of security forces on motorcycles dropped tear gas to clear the bridge, prompting an exchange of what appeared to be gunfire. There are no immediate reports of injury. The tumultuous events that started when Guardo, who has been recognized by the U.S. and dozens of other nations as the legitimate interim president, appeared in an early morning video shot next to the Air Force Base. All right, so we know that already. So, oops. Got, got disrupted. So there's nothing really going on here. Let's see from the beginning. Is there anything? 
People put it on their tear gas. This is the beginning of the uh, live feed. I think it ended. Couple hundred people. It seems like, it seems like in Venezuela, the rich and the the young are on the same page. The young people see Venezuela as they see the actual economic situation as being rough on them, as being a tough situation, right? And the rich see it as an opportunity, a business opportunity to, you know, basically uh, seize power. And, um, but it's interesting how the young people are flocking with the rich in this very small area of Caracas. But the, the point of the, the point of the, what I'm trying to say as an American is that these people have a right to protest. Are they legitimately a, a allowed to bear arms out in the street like that? Are those military people um, going along with the, the constitution of their country? I don't know. But uh, they have, I mean, certainly have a right to protest. No one's disputing their right to protest, right? But um, what I'm concerned with is the Americans lying about it. You know Pompeo's a liar. You know Rubio's a liar. You know Mike Bolton and, and Elliot Abrams, the war criminal. They're all liars. You know you know the motive. Pence and Trump, you know the motive. The motive is to get the oil. Right? These are not starving people. This is not a humanitarian crisis. It's a sham and a ripoff. And it's being done in our name. Right? That's the real story. That's the real story of Venezuela. I want to see when it broke up. There was some, uh, right here. At some point, it. At some point, it broke up. Well, I guess not. It's just a different angle. So anyway, Marcus Carthy reporting on the, the what what appears to be a an attempted coup in Venezuela to, to overthrow the, the the legitimate government of Venezuela. Doing it, United States cheerleading it. We'll probably see more about it, Pompeo. Go, go, Guardo. Juan Guardo, we love you. We will love you. Give us the fucking oil. Mnuchin already, Steve Mnuchin, the, the Secretary of the Treasury in the United States, already squeezing, the, squeezing Maduro's balls to get that, get that oil money from, from uh, Pedavesa. Pedavesa, the oil company, try to overthrow. So it's a big sham in our name, you know, and... Um, I don't know. We'll keep following it. Uh, Marcus Conti reporting. Oh, become a uh, Patreon. Kindly become a Patreon. Join the channel. Become a Spartan at uh, Patreon.com. Thank you very much. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe because people keep unsubscribing. I think YouTube keeps unsubscribing people. Kindly hit that subscribe button. Marcus Conti reporting.